Welcome back. Now we've created an enemy hit montage and we're ready to play sections of this montage when the enemy gets hit and when the enemy is about to die. So let's go ahead and set this up. So we're back here in enemy.h and I'd like to add a new variable for the hit montage. So down at the bottom of the private section, let's add a uanim montage and we'll call this hit montage. Now we want to be able to set this from blueprints. So let's give this a U property and set this to edit anywhere, blueprint read write. So I can go ahead and copy the macro specifiers for the previous variable and paste those in. Now I'm going to add a comment to this and say montage containing hit and death animations. Now let's create a function for calling a hit animation montage section. Now I'm going to add this to the protected section up here. So let's give this a function called play hit montage. And play hit montage is going to take an F name for the montage section. So we can specify a section. And if we want to adjust the play rate or the rate at which the animation is played, we can add a float variable as well called play rate. Now we can give play rate a default value of 1.0 and that way if we don't want to adjust the play rate, we just want to leave it at one, then we don't have to pass in a value there. Let's go ahead and implement this. We'll create a function body and what we're going to do is simply play an animation montage section. Now, we've done this before, so this should look familiar. We're going to get our anim instance. So we're going to say you anim instance. That's a pointer. And we're going to call this anim instance. We're going to get this from our mesh. So we need to call get mesh. And from the mesh, we're going to call get anim instance. Now we're next going to check to see if the anim instance is valid. And if it's valid, we can play a section from it. So we're going to use anim instance. We're going to call montage play. And montage play expects an animation montage. We're going to use hit montage. And it's asking for a play rate. We can pass in play rate. Now we're going to jump to a montage section. So we're going to say anim instance and we're going to use montage jump to section. And I left out an in. There we go. Now it's spelled correctly. So montage jump to section requires an F name for the section. So we're going to pass in our input parameter called section. Next, it expects a montage. We're going to pass in hit montage. And it's as simple as that. This will be our play hit montage function. So now we have a function we can call to easily play any montage section from this montage. We're going to play a hit montage when we get hit and we can use our bullet hit implementation interface function for that. So let's go down to bullet hit implementation and just under show health bar, we're going to call play hit montage. And for the hit montage, we're going to choose a hit section. Now we have four different hit animations and these are good for if we want to play an animation based on the direction we're getting hit from. Now this is set up so you can implement that if you want to, but we're just going to use one of these. So let's choose hit react front. I'm going to use the hit react front montage section here. So we're going to create an F name and initialize it with hit react front. Now I'm okay with a play rate of one. So I'm going to leave out that optional second parameter. So we'll go ahead and compile this. And now we can see how it works when we shoot the enemy. So we're back here in the editor. And before we test this out, we need to go back into enemy BP. And here we have our hit montage. We need to set this to enemy hit. So compile and save that. And now we can test this out. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a pistol 
and see if I can shoot the enemy and get a hit react animation montage section played. And we get the section played and it plays all the other animations in the montage. So we need to fix that. So here an enemy hit, you'll see in this section here called montage sections that whenever we play one of these hit react animations, it transitions directly into the next animation montage section. But if we hit the clear button, now all of these sections will play by themselves. Let's go ahead and save this and test this out again. So I'm gonna pick up a pistol and shoot the enemy and we get that montage section played and the enemy is reacting to the hit. Okay, so that is going to conclude this video. We now have our enemy reacting to being shot. I'll see you in the next video.